So uh, during last year, so Nexa Robotics increased uh, the number of payloads uh, compatible with uh, our robots. Uh, so the main ones uh, we can discuss about uh, as the one you can see here. So the first one uh, which equips the robots now, so for example, is uh, two ways intercom audio. So this is used by uh, GIGN in France. Uh, and uh, so it is dedicated to first to communicate or to talk to terrorists or to victims uh, using the, from the control station. Uh, you can uh, listen uh, smooth noise, uh, so because the system is equipped with a very sensitive microphone. Uh, and you can also generate uh, high power sounds, uh, for example, for decoying or deception purpose. So this one is a 2D mapping system. So it makes um, the robot, uh, it makes it possible for the robot uh, to make a map uh, of the environments. The other one is an infrared camera. When you want to add the uh, capabilities of the robot with night vision, for example, so you use these modules. One important thing is that all these modules are plug and play. It means uh, you can replace them without any tool on, and uh, without, without switching on or off on the robot. The other one here so, is a sniper detection or gunshot detection. So with this one, um, you can uh, uh, detect any gunshot for small, uh, f from uh, small arms. Uh, and uh, so you can uh, get the direction in real time um, of the gunshots. The other one uh, you can see on the right um, is a standard PTZ. Uh, PTZ means pan, tilt, and zoom uh, turret. Uh, so dedicated uh, to long round of observation. So the system is equipped with a very powerful uh, zoom up to uh, 36 um, for a long range uh, reconnaissance and, and to, to get information. Then uh, on the, the lower floor, this one uh, is a standard uh, battery, in fact, to extend, um, extend the duration of uh, any mission. So the standard robot can be used between one and two hours uh, when equipped with standard battery. If you need a um, uh, longer um, duration, uh, higher duration, you can equip the robot with uh, this additional battery and then you will be able to perform a mission up to four hours, even six hours, <coughs> if the mobility is not too, too high, in fact. No. This one is able to detect any toxic, toxic gas uh, used in weapon systems. And so when you put this, this uh, sensor on the robot, um, the system will be able first, uh, of course, to detect um, the, the dangerous gas uh, uh, without uh, any exposition of um, human to danger. And um, most important is that um, because the robot is equipped with GPS, you, the system will be able to put carriers on a map uh, uh, according to the level of contamination, so it measured. This one is a very new one, uh, so this is a dropping module. Uh, so you can carry uh, things, uh, some, some stuff, uh, explosive or medicines, for example, uh, on the robots, uh, and move the robot close to uh, target, uh, target point, uh, and then drop uh, the, the stuff uh, with uh, these modules. Uh. The last one uh, is a grenade launcher. The system can be equipped with any uh, NATO uh, grenade uh, using uh, tear gas, uh, flashing bomb, or, or uh, sound bombs. Um, so as the one used by police, uh, for example, for crowd control. Um, most of the time, special force forces uh, look for very special equipment. Uh, at the moment, uh, uh, they could be interested uh, in any type of module because they are not very familiar with robots. Uh, and so, of course, um, they start using uh, the modules they uh, need at the moment, uh, but, but they, they like uh, to test and to uh, implement or to evaluate uh, other modules, even if the moment, uh, at the moment uh, they don't use um, this capabilities.